Hello my friends, it's Mark the Southern Cadman coming to you from beautiful Baden Lake on a gorgeous sunny day here in, well, January now. It's about 55 degrees and it feels great outside. So I have here to present to you today this 1991 Cadillac Brome de Elegance. This car has 41,000 original miles. It comes from the deep south and is absolutely rust free with a beautiful original paint job. This car is rendered in a color I just verified the name of it by the color code it's actually called silver. Yes, well usually Cadillac would design some sort of eloquent name for their colors but at least according to my source at uh, paintref.com the color is called silver. So there it is. But simplicity is sometimes the best. Uh, this car here drives like an absolute dream and these are the kind I like to find because there's so much newness left the cars never had to have a restoration other than just some some of your typical points of tidying up such as fillers and things like that which we'll go over in a minute but um, for the most part and for all reasonable points the car is an original survivor gem and uh, seems like I'm always talking about this but the lighter colored cars sometimes can be a challenge to uh, to show the paint on but I'll do the best I can here to show you how nice and straight this body is sometimes people want to know how I know it's original paint well, I mean, you can take a very good educated guess based on the pinstripe. And if you see this pinstripe that's painted on by factory, uh, that's your best indicator for the most part, at least on the sides. It's not a guarantee, but if I can get close enough, you can see kind of what I mean. That is uh, paint that was applied on the assembly line. And uh, if you want to see how that was done, it's on YouTube. It's really fascinating. But this car runs, drives like an absolute dream. It is crisp, it is tight, it is quiet, and it's just like going back in time. Rome de elegance, this is what you want. And as an added bonus, you can see this car features the factory appliance wire wheels, and believe it or not, Royal Seal tires. Indeed. Just gives me a thrill to interact with something that is still holding its original form like this and we'll go around to the back here and you can see it is a 5 liter car 5 liter Chevy 305 was a fantastic engine and very very reliable I have replaced the fillers on this car as you can see here, I've got some happy dogs in the background, but the bottom filler of the uh, underneath the license plate is new, the flat filler at the bumper, of course the corner fillers as well, and these are done with the, the uh, polypropylene injection molded variation, which are far superior. And I'm going to have to let these dogs get to know each other for a minute. There they are, our little friends on a walk. So indeed, if you want to really experience one of these cars as they should be, get one that's never been restored, get one that's never had to be, and I uh, think you'll be happiest. Just kind of pan around this thing just to demonstrate very, very good condition of the paint, the body, uh, never any wrecks, never any negative history on this car just all around honest just like you like to find them the glass excellent the vinyl top is still original and for those who don't know uh, the 90 through 92 cars featured a certain type of grain Let's see if I can hopefully you can see what I'm talking about the the texture of this grain is called llama Thanks to a, one, of the, one of our followers who informed me what the name, he actually had a 
an original option chart that showed the name. I never knew what it was. They used what was called elk grain for many years before that. But llama grain was exclusive to 90 through 92 bromes. And that's what we have here. So that tells you that it's original or I guess technically they could have been replaced very, very early on. But I'm highly confident that that's the original top. Bought new in, Montgom in Montgomery, Alabama at Cobb. The dealership is still there, although it now operates under a different name. I have a friend that lives down there who verified that for me. Um, in the south, a couple colors did not do well. Generally speaking, silver and light blue, in my own experience and observing them through the years, those colors tended to fade a little more, but look at this. Garage kept, and that's what you get. Look at the sheen on that trunk lid. Um, this is a base coat, clear coat car, which fared better uh, than the lacquer of the 90 and back. And that's a big advantage. So if you've been looking for a brome to put in your collection, uh, this is one of the nicest ones you're going to find. Again, has 41,000 miles, and uh, we'll hop inside to show you uh, how clean the interior is and, and what being a brome de elegance means. Okay, real quick, the door panel, this, this tells a lot right here. You can see the condition of the, uh, the armrest here. The switch gear is all very nice. The chrome is good. The wind sweeps nice, no cracks. The weather stripping at the door, really nice. Never been uh, raked with uh, a coat hanger. That's what you see a lot of times. People will wiggle their coat hanger in here and try to get around this corner to get to the doorknob in a pinch. Many of these whistle going down the road because of damaged weather stripping. It is in excellent condition. Beautiful leather, very soft and supple. They're not dried out or cracked. Armrest, excellent passenger seat. The original embroidered wreath in the seat backs, great condition. And uh, I do have a thing about steering wheels. This steering wheel is very nice. The original leather wrap is in great shape. No cracks on the dash. Um, the original floor mats are there as well. I know. Got my bag here, but get that out of the way real fast, and you can see. Passenger seat as well. The passenger, excuse me, the back seat as well. Very good shape. Original leather. Back floor mats. The headliner is in great shape. It's probably been replaced at some point. Especially being a southern car, the heat will take a toll. Okay, so as we slip in, it's a lovely environment. Oh, goodness. You can hear that door shut just like a vault. You can look around here and see the condition of the dash. Of course, now that we're in the sunlight, I can see more dust. <laughs> but. It's all here. The radio and the radio module have been rebuilt. I took them to my trusty radio guy out of Charlotte who did a great job and a recapacitor, I guess he recapped they call it, but new capacitor is in there. Uh, basically brought it back to new condition. The tape player works, the radio works, the antenna works. There we go. So there's all that. You can see the mileage there. 40,928. And most definitely original. You can see that beautiful view out over the hood. This is just so satisfying to look at when you're going down the road. 5 liter engine, roaring to life in great shape. I always do a pan around here. I don't know if you can see much of the reflection, but the glove box door is super clean, super nice. Um, hard to find anything showing much of any wear on this car. This is a really sweet one. 
pop the trunk, kind of show you what we have out there before we go down the road. The car does have a uh, of a GM good wrench remote and I know it worked I think the battery in the fob might be out you can see the trunk is as good as you're gonna find original spare tire and cover the trunk mats here's another one where you'll see um, oftentimes this will be damaged when people push their boxes and their cargo in and out of this you can It'll pull on it and eventually tear this. It's not uncommon to see. And here is underside of the hood. All looking very good. And there's where it shows you the base clear color. U9021 is silver. And silver it is everywhere, including the flat filler. So monochromatic, truly. take this beauty for a little ride. So for as big of a car as this is, it has a remarkably tight turning radius. I've mentioned that before in a couple videos. Very drivable. I mean this is not a lumbering Mon monster by any means and I'm saying that from a biased standpoint because I've driven these pretty much my whole adult life and I've become very used to them I think they're comfortable to drive I think they're a very manageable size in spite of the fact of them being um, one of the larger cars on the road of course and I guess it's the the longest car of its time it edged out the Lincoln Town Car. Uh, well, the 80s one did. I guess I'd have to check the numbers to verify that, but there was a famous commercial that came out in 1987 where uh, two gentlemen were comparing the sizes of their cars. That's uh, a classic. It's on YouTube. But uh, you can tell, hopefully you can tell in the video, the car is super smooth, super quiet. And I'm riding on these Uniroyal Royal Seals, and even they are in great shape. Now, if you buy the car, I will make the offer to change those out for some brand new standard white walls. I have no problem doing that. I just think it's so cool that they are, oh, almost missed my turn. I just think it's so cool that they are there at all, and that captures the original look of these cars. So for a, a weekend show or something like that where you really want to show off the originality, the, um, the preservation of this car, I think that would be really cool. But um, of course for drivability, you'd want, to, uh, you'd want to get some new tires. I wouldn't trust them too far, although they give absolutely no indication of, of any trouble. This isn't really where I wanted to go. Here's a here's a great example of the turning radius. But if you haven't had a Brome, there's just nothing like these cars. They're stately, they're elegant. Um, in my opinion, they're supremely masculine. They are rigid, straight-lined. They're formal. They are uh, they're a pleasure to own and a pleasure to drive. And there's really nothing like them. Nothing is made today that would compare to this car. And that's uh, That should go without saying, actually. The 5 liter has good power. I find that the 5 liter 305 cars have a, uh, a really nice smooth ride compared to some of the heavier towing package cars. I'm a fan of the, the 5 liter. I think it's a good balance between the power and the fuel economy and 
It's got good torque. The numbers really aren't very different. Unless you're going to be towing, which I kind of doubt you are. But uh, if you want to give me a call, if you want to talk about this car, how to add it to your collection, I'll be happy to do that. My number is 919-948-5980. My name is Mark. I'll be happy to talk to you. And if you like just viewing these cars, if you just like seeing different ones and their condition, you know, like and subscribe. Let me know if you've got one of these. Let me know uh, how long you've had one, how many you've had. Different versions. If you've had some of the older ones with the 5 liter 307, I'd love to hear about that too. I like those cars as well. I think they, uh, they definitely have their place and they are underrated. So that could be a hint to some of you if you really want to get ahead of the curve. I think those 89 and back cars are going to uh, come on here at some point. But I'll wrap this video up here. Hope to hear from you. Again, 919-948-5980. And we will list the price in the description. I'll put it on the screen as well. And um, hope to hear from you soon.